This is calculator question number nine from the March 2019 SAT. If you have not already tried this problem, pause the video for about a minute or two, find your solution, and then come back. I'll be here. Okay, College Board gives us a table with data showing citrus production in millions of metric tons for China over this time period, and they ask for the slope of the line of best fit for these data. I'm going to sketch an estimate of the line of best fit. The slopes are very different, so even a rough estimate should be good. And that's not perfect, but it's reasonably close. If my slope were 10, then each time the year goes up by 1, citrus pr production should go up by 10 on this scale. Always watch for scales, because they frequently change scales and they do in fact change scales for this. Here, each vertical square is five millions of tons and each horizontal square is one year. So those are different scales. If my slope were 10, then I would go up from 18 to 28 to 38 over two years and that is very clearly not the slope. Even eight would go to 26 and then 34 and that's also not the slope. Five, I should go up by five each year, or 10 every two years. So I should go up from 18 to 28 to 38, and that is way above my line. What about two? If I go up by about two from 18 to 20 to 22, 24 to 26 to 28, two understates the slope slightly, but not by much. And if the intercept is a little higher than I drew it, Two is a reasonable approximation for the slope of the line of best fit as I drew this. So that would be my answer. College Board often asks you to interpret a line of best fit, slope, intercept, both from a table or chart of data. I'll post a link to a playlist of similar videos down in the description and come back soon for my next math video. With math there's always more.